The whole world needs men and women that can stand to fight the good fight of faith. When God is diverting your attention to another side, evil is not a substitution. God is never absent for a day in our cases. He is there. There are some cases he preserved it for a moment. And why he preserved it is because everything, write it again, everything that happens around you, God can use it as a raw material to build his testimony with. It can be car accident. Have you ever had somebody had a car accident and only him survived? So for that very reason, only because of that survivor, God has orchestrated a testimony to tell somebody that even if the whole world will vanish, there is someone that will live. Oh, you do not have when there was a flood, Noah and his family, they survived it. I don't know what happened to the rest anyway, but stupidity was part of them. He said, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, not against the knowledge of our God, of God. That means this God is a singular God, the maker of the heaven and the earth. And now look at it, bringing it, bringing into captivity every thought. There are thoughts that you must to make them to obey your feelings. I don't feel like backsliding so devil you cannot subjugate me to tell me I must go back to the world. I'm hooked to Christ. I've been baptized in the blood. I've been sunk in the mind of Christ because the mind of Christ is in me. Satan I can't go back to my past. I belong to Christ. It's a casting down imagination. So when you cast down certain imagination, you need to know that it's not casting them alone. When you cast them, there are certain things that also go to exalt themselves. They know they are failure. They know that you have overcome them. But they will go to the other side and say, yes, I'm still alive. And that's why Apostle Paul said, I beat my body. My body, I beat it. My own flesh, I beat it. That means, my body is under corporal punishment that I may not lose eternity. That is why Paul said, for the sake of salvation, even the body must be rendered useless that the spirit may be saved at the last day. Ladies and gentlemen, your body is not entering hell. Your soul is entering hell if you are not saved. God is not interested in this body. This body is a clay. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes. But it's not soul to dust. We have never had anything soul to dust, spirit to dust, no. So what we do, do you know why it is our soul? So if, if someone dies, the first thing on arrival, if is a godly person. The first thing on arrival, the angel come for the black box. When Moses died, the two walls came against him. Demons want to take his body. His body. They want to take his body. But in the real sense, it was his soul they were looking for. Do you know why? Because there was a place Moses made an error. There are, there are demons that they are they magnify their existence better than God. And so certain demons, you deal with them what? through their weapon of warfare. This weapon of warfare, they are true God. They are mighty. Let's look at it. It can take even or bring into captivity even thoughts that look like disobedience. You know disobedience? You don't want to do this, but something is telling you you can do it. If you obey your thoughts, it means your thought has been taken into captivity. The Bible says you can bring certain thoughts into obedience. You drag them. You tell them, no, you cannot move this way. You must be under subjugation. The real place of warfare begins from our mind. Satan brings the fight in our mind. 
our spirit is a recipient of the signal of what happens in our mind. And having in readiness, revenge, all disobedience, when your obedience is where? Is at fulfilled level. If you have not obeyed too much, you have not obeyed well, don't command obedience. I have seen a lot of time people who want to be honored, they honor nobody. People who want to be celebrated, they celebrate nobody. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you also observed some things in the society like this? Now, I told people, I said, the secret of life is that nobody is born greater than another. God fortifies us with internal gifts that varies from another. That what I need is resident in you, and what you need is resident in me. When you need what is in me, you must lobby it out too. When I need what is in you, I must lobby it out too. So that nobody gain monopoly over the world. As long as God is concerned, as rich as Alin Kodangote today, somebody is still sewing clothes that he wear. Somebody polished the shoe he, he put on. So he needs somebody. Imagine if there are no shoemakers, despite his wealth, he will walk without shoe. Slap your neighbor and say, you need me. <laughs> oh, you don't know that, right? I started teaching even my little children at home how to respect everybody and to honor everybody. Because the first point somebody can grow to be relevant is by acknowledging that somebody is great. If you never acknowledge greatness in people, you never become great. Have you passed by some people and you are greeting them and they feel like you are not worthy to greet them? You, you are the one doing the greeting. You know? But they feel as if you are not worthy to greet them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but how many people have ever thought that if you are dead, some people have to carry your coffee? Nobody can wake up to get himself in the grave. Nobody can wake up to dig the grave for himself. We need to know why we are important to each other. And I think this is the time men of God need to preach to the church that everybody is important. Gender equality or differences is not the major problem. The major problem, we never agree with one another that you have what I need and I also have what you need. So whatever I can offer, I will offer. Yeah. We need to know. When you want to become a leader, the first thing you do is to follow somebody. The road to dealing with disobedience is to become obedient. That's what I watch now on our highway. Our, our, our personnel have abused the law of Nigeria. They have abused it. You see today, you, 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 are walk, you, are, you are on the highway of Nigeria. You will see an officer will end up bowing down. Alan Guru. What is that? It's not done in civilized world. Personnels are so unique in, in developed world that they are, not, they are not even as the president property. They don't, they don't have any dealing with, 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 with the president. They have carved out their their jurisdiction. They know what they are doing. They know what they are to offer. Your heart, if your heart always feel like, I wish this person even died, you have already murdered this person. That means every spirit that activates its reality is now licensed by your thoughts. So we, that's why I'm telling you, casting down imagination and negative thoughts, you need to know this scripture. For you to be full of, fully obedient as a child of God, remove negative thoughts from your mind. Don't think evil towards others. Some of us, we even find it difficult if people, people who are around us, 
they make a certain level of success, we find it difficult to shake hand with them and say congratulations. There's nothing bad when you are supporting somebody who is already on the front. It gives you confidence and assurance that tomorrow you can do what they are doing. But when you begin to stay away, you see small success. In, do you know there are some people, if they see some people succeeding, it makes them run away. They don't just want to, it's like something is pulling them away. No, when you see somebody succeeding, come more closer. Because by coming more closer, if there's any assistance in that place, he or, he or she is walking, she's going to tell you. But we stay away. Rise to your feet. I'm going to pray for you. I want you to remember one thing. When you don't have problem, you need to pray more than when you have problem. Because Satan doesn't like your comfortability. He prefers you in a chaos. He prefers you in difficulty than when you are happy. Pray when you are happy the more. When there are more things to celebrate. When there are more things to do. When there are more things around you. This is the time you pray. And what are the kind of prayer you pray? These are the two types of prayer. Prayer of thanksgiving. And prayer of protection. Lift your hands wherever you are. Ask God for his kindness. Ask God to help you in terms of difficulties. Ask God to strengthen you in terms of challenges. Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, O oh Lord. Say, O oh Lord. I present, I present myself again, again to, you, to you that you may consider, that you may consider mercy, mercy over, my life, over my life, over my life and my family. And my family. Consider, mercy, consider, mercy, consider mercy. Consider mercy. Consider mercy, Lord. Consider mercy, consider mercy today, today again, again over my life, over my, life, over my career. Over my relationship, over my health, over my family, over my children, over all that I love. Consider mercy. Open your mouth and pray. I minister strength to you. Strength in the midst of challenge. Strength. Strength. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching us, may you be strong in the name of Jesus. May you be strong, 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 strength, 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 strength.